My name is Mike Ayia. I am a saxophonist based in Los Angeles. I play all around LA in several different groups as well as uh, go out on the road on tours, do work in the studio, uh, and a lot of different freelance work. Today we're going to discuss the difference between a soprano sax and a tenor sax. Uh, the order of the saxophones from highest to lowest, the very top is going to be the sopranino, below that is going to be soprano, then alto, then tenor, baritone, bass, and contrabass, which is a little bit more rare. Between the tenor and the soprano, you have an octave difference in the range. Um, so the lowest note on the tenor sax is a concert A flat, which sounds like this. The lowest note on the soprano sax is a concert A flat also, but an octave higher. That sounds more like this. Uh, the highest note on the tenor is a concert E flat, which sounds like this. The highest note on the soprano is a concert E flat, an octave higher, which sounds like this. So that is the major differences between a soprano and tenor sax. Uh, the, the, another difference that you might want to uh, consider is the way that they look. A tenor has this curved neck like this, and it also has a curved bell. Uh, soprano sax is completely straight. It's in a straight line. Um, it's most famous as the sax that Kenny G plays. So you might recognize it from that. Uh, my name is Mike Ayia, and that was the difference between a tenor and soprano sax.